Horse Live. We're having a mother daughter day and going to Your Horse Live. And it's basically the day of shopping. We are just here to spend loads of money. Absolutely loads, isn't that right, Mum? My money, you mean? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> On yeah. stuff we don't need. Yeah. But we've travelled two and a half hours literally just to shop till we drop essentially because we have no plans of even watching much but there is some showing going on there is the your horse live and um, showing championships so we might get to see a little bit of that but we are yeah just come here to spend loads of money on our horses mum doesn't even have a horse but she doesn't even ride <laughs> yeah come along and enjoy the day with us so this year it's a little bit different um due to there being like roadworks and stuff we've parked a car park quite far away and they were offering a bus shuttle to actually get to the show. But we've decided to walk and we've walked through all the horse box area and got to see people like getting ready for the show, which is quite nice. Cause it's quite a long drive. We just wanted to have a little leg stretch. And it looks like they're building a menage. There's a big old arena that they're filling with sand. So yeah, it's quite chilly, but I'm actually all right. I can actually see your horse live, I think now. So yeah, hopefully there's not too much of a queue. Um, let's go shop till you drop. Oh, donkeys. He's so cute. Oh, and look, Mum, there's a stuff at Punch Out. We are here. Ooh. Oh, spent a fortune. Yeah. is central. <laughs> it's starting to get busy now. Emily Cole. Oh, that's what we need. Look at the little poo guards. <laughs> On the bums, um, the poo guards. They're going shopping. The ponies are going shopping. Guys, the Lemieux stand is bigger than I've ever, ever, ever seen before. It's insane. So we got a seat in the arena and they happen to be on the ridden veteran class which is something I was really interested in watching because of course Finley is now a veteran and I had no idea they did these search for star qualifiers for veterans and these are actually open to anyone whether you're a producer or anything which was different because I always thought search for star was just for pure amateurs but apparently the veteran class is open to anyone. The scoring system was very different to how it is at um, the affiliated sort of showing shows. They had like a strictly system with um, cards with the numbers on. So this was the first competitor to go, which was the only young lady side saddle. And I thought she executed a really, really lovely show. I couldn't understand why all the competitors galloped because in veteran classes, you would never normally do a gallop. But I think um, they were obviously asked to do a sort of show with certain movements in to be judged. And it wasn't until a couple of riders had gone in that I realised that there was six judges down in the bottom corner that you can see them sort of standing in the left corner. And they had um, these mark sheets that they were holding up. Um, so each time a rider did the show, they would then be marked straight afterwards which was quite cool because you could sort of obviously see where you were at as soon as you'd finished your show. 
also quite a lot of pressure for the riders because you're riding thinking, you know, this has got to be really good because everyone can see my marks. There were some really beautiful horses in the class like this one here, but I think the atmosphere got to quite a lot of the horses. They got quite tense and upset. There was actually probably about three horses that sort of just just got a little bit upset and sort of muddled their show a little bit, which was really disappointing. But there was um, someone on the like microphone explaining what was going on, as well as people going up and down the stairs. So you can hear like the footsteps of people going up and down these like metal stairways. And then the microphone would crackle sometimes. And I think some of the horses just got a little bit um, reactive to this. And this was just a little reminder for me to kind of think about training my horses for this a little bit because they're just little things that can upset the horse and then ruin your show um and when this rider had been i then realized that the judges were doing this mark system and it was quite good to just see what each judge was marking the show because everyone has a different opinion so obviously the marks were all different and some of the riders i think just panicked a little bit um, and didn't use their space and didn't think about sort of what they were going to do um, because obviously you know you only get to go in this arena on the day so it's very much like okay what can I do in the space so the people who hadn't really thought it through that well it, it came very obvious um, that they would just sort of rushed through the show um, and here you can see some of the judges doing their marks at the bottom. So this is Lynn Russell, who was the only like renowned professional in the class. Like she does showing and producing for a living. Um, she's on this cob, and she did a show that was really different. So I wanted to include it in the video, and I I weren't quite sure what the criteria was for this class, but she did like this canter um, shallow loop with a counter canter loop in it sort of thing. Um, really nice transitions and then she does a walk and a rain back and I didn't like her rain back very much I thought it was a little bit rushed and abrupt um, but the horse is obviously really well schooled she then goes straight into gallop from the rain back which, which is obviously really impressive it shows the horse is well schooled and things um, but she kind of finishes the show up here she doesn't do much more um, and I thought that was really odd but, um, yeah, the judges, they scored it well. But I, I don't know what the criteria was of the class, but I just thought that was a really odd show to do. But I just wanted to include that in to see what you thought too. Let's hope their maths is up to scratch. So there will just be a short pause now while the judges add up all the scores. So out of the ones we watched... Um, my favourites were the side saddle pony and the riding horse, which 
I included in the footage. I love the mannerism of the side saddle pony and it was 27, but the riding horse did a really, really nice show and she executed it all really, really well. So they were my top two and here are the judges just adding up all their scores. They also looked around the horses and I'm guessing they did a mark for how well they looked for that age. They didn't strip or anything like that and I will have to have a look about how they actually judged this class. But this is them pulling in the horses in the order that they've calculated. And in second, it's Gallifrey, owned by Carol West and ridden by Lynn Russell. So the winner of the Open Veteran Ridden Championships 2023 is Saffron the 12th, owned Woo! by Sarah Grindle. Here. We've drawn a mark and now we need to finish it off to do the inside of the leg. Hello lovely. Hi. <laughs> lovely. Big fluffy pet. <laughs> it's really muddy on the field. <laughs> Did you have a nice trip? Have a look. You had a nice trip? I've had a lovely trip. Oh. <laughs> After Mum's incredible fall. We're having a coffee in the car and having some food in the car. We've just got some Percy pigs and some croissants and a bit of coffee. Um, yeah, we've had a fantastic day and we're really overspent, even though we did budget, but we went we went over budget. It went a bit, a bit mad, but um, it was really good. The shopping was really good. I was actually surprised that um, it wasn't as busy as last year, um, but the Lemieux tent was amazing even though i'm not really a lemieux person um it was really really good i picked up loads of christmas presents and i will give you a haul when i get home before i do my full um haul i firstly want to apologize for the absolute state that i look in because it was a long drive home okay e -glove. Um, i think this is actually my christmas present because mum bought it for me and um, they did a little deal for us um, I got the e gloves in the navy and the hunter's green. Love these gloves, so comfortable. You can use it on your phone um, and it's really hard wearing. I've had my other pair for like three years. So I think I'm gonna have one pair now on one pair for Christmas. <laughs> Next is my Emily Cole desk calendar, which sits in my office. I love these, I cross off every day and add like my work and stuff. And they've got the most cute little pictures. That's like Finley. Um, yeah, so love Emily Cole and her stationery and stuff. My black fort bag, which is a bargain. Um, and they basically had a 50% off rail and more. So first off, these black fort riding tights in black with the like teal pockets on. Um, and these were £25 with the full seat. And if you've seen, you've seen all my vlogs, I live and die in black fort. So I've got that. One of the Blackfoot summer base layers, um, that was £22. These are usually about 47 What sort of colour would you say it is? I think it's like a, it's like lavender. I actually have some winter tights with some lavender bits on them, so I might, might pair it together. Um, and then I've got the sage base layer again. I think all base layers were £22, which they're usually like 47 And they're very like thick and hard wearing. This is the Sage. 
I don't know if I've got a number that matches this, but really like a bit of green at the minute. And then finally, I got the show shirt, and she let me have this for like £15, I think, just because I needed another dressage one, and it's got some lace detailing. Oh, and she threw in a bag of sweets. How cute is that? Thank you, Black Fort. Yeah, we love Black Fort. Premier performance. And this stuff is for London. Um, I have got some calming cookies for Finley to have, like, just to take the edge off. And I've got some calming cookies for people, for me, to try, which are um, cookies and cream flavour. And they had an offer on two for 20, and these will live in the horse box. I've not ever tried the human ones, but I'm hoping that would just take the edge off me too. Um, we also went to Smart Grooming, got a little razor to go over Finley's beard. Sorry, that's mum's vintage clock in the background. Um, and just a little main comb, like for pulling and stuff. Here as well, I got some picker jodhpurs that were reduced from £100 to £60, so nearly half price. And um, these are what I wear in the show ring. Like, these are my all-time favourite jodhpurs. I love the colour, they're so comfortable. I love the suede seat. Yes, so another little bargain. I had no intentions of buying any showing jodhpurs, but absolutely had to be that price again i've got to be careful what i show you because some are christmas presents um we got donnie some grafter brushing boots in a size extra large because donnie has the world's biggest legs ever um and these were 10 pounds so yeah um we have a lemieux bubble hat that was 10 pounds this is mum picking up fluffy stuff. She just picks up everything fluffy. Another Lemieux hat, which I did put on halfway around. I think that was um, five pounds. Lemieux socks, they were all five pounds. We've got three pairs of Lemieux socks. Another bubble hat. This is just mum. She just loves her bubble hat. Um, I've got this Lemieux base layer in this tealy colour because it's going to match the black fork job I brought. And I've also got a saddle pad that matches. So this was 25, yeah, 25 pounds. It's very soft. So I've got that. I also brought um, a fleecy. Mum's got one of these in teal already, but um, it's really like You bought it for me for Christmas last yeah. year, didn't you? Yeah, you got it for Christmas. So yeah, I brought one this year, it's 25 pounds. And I've got matching jogging bottoms, but my mum is wearing them because she fell over in the mud. So now I am home with one very sleepy puppy and I am absolutely shattered and ready for bed. We had the best time at Your Horse Live. We did spend quite a bit more money than I was hoping to, but we did buy loads of Christmas presents and most of the clothes um, I got for myself are my Christmas presents. I'm probably not going to have much to open over Christmas but hopefully it will last me a long time because I do generally um, buy stuff and then sort of keep them forever and wear it until it's dead but yeah I had the most lovely lovely time shopping and mum really enjoyed herself too huge thanks for watching the vlog and I'll see you all next week